Okay, so now that we've got our points in the drawing, what I'd like to do is create two new point groups. Um, to do that, um, what I'm going to do is I am going to right-click on um, my point groups area here. I'm going to right-click on point groups, and I'm going to choose new. And let's start off, let's create a point group called No Display. And in the description, I'll put uh, all points turned off. Then down in the point style area, I'm going to push this slider bar up here. I could, uh, I'm going to push it up, and you should be able to find the word none. So let's choose none. And then for point label style, let's do the same thing. Let's choose none. Now I have to decide which points are going to be in this point group. So I'm going to hit the Include tab here. And I'm simply going to check the box that says Include All Points. Then I'll say OK. Right now it looks like all our points have gone away, but they haven't. Um, and I can show you that by, if I right click on point groups now, and this time I'm going to go to properties, uh, I've simply got two point groups. One is called all points and one is called no display. If I change the order of these, if I put po all points back up at the top of the list, I should see my points again. There they are. Okay, now let's make another point group. Let's right click on point groups again and let's choose new. And let's call this one Concrete Curb. And for the description, let's just say uh, Vertical Face Concrete Curb. This time I'm going to go to the Include tab and I'm going to choose with Raw Descriptions Matching and the code that we used to collect those uh, curb shots was BOC and that stood for Back of Curb. So I'm going to say BOC. So now you can see over here I've got uh, a point group called Concrete Curb and I've got a point group called no display. Okay, so let's let's just um, let's take a look at our concrete curb point group real quickly. If I right click on concrete curb and I go to properties, um, I'm going to go to the point list here, and you can see there are a lot of points in here, and they all have exactly the same code BOC for back of curb. If I go to the summary tab and I pull this slider down, I can see that there's 396 points in that point group. Okay, so now here's where um, you're going to see the reason for this. What I want to do next is I want to draw these uh, back of curb lines in. And so uh, my life's going to get a lot easier. There's points in here that represent the bridges, the control points, building corners, things like that. I don't want to even see those when I'm doing this task. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click on point groups and I'm going to go to properties. And this time I'm going to put concrete, well concrete curb is at the top of the list, but I want no display right underneath that. So I'm going to kick that up one, uh, one spot there. So now it's concrete curb with no display underneath it. And so now all I see are my concrete curb lines, my concrete curb points. Okay, so now what I'd like you to do is draw in these concrete curb lines. So let's just take a look. This is the northeast quadrant right here of uh, 6th and Highland. And so what we'll do is we'll go to our 
Create Design Palette and choose Feature Line. And then we'll say Create Feature Line. And because this is, everything's going to stay the same. The only thing we're going to change here is this one where we're going to say Corridor Curb Line because this is a curb. And then I'm going to say OK. Now I'll start with this point here. And word of caution here is you, you want to make sure that your object snap settings are set so that if I go to object snap settings, the only one I want turned on is node. So make sure that that's the case. You can hit clear all and then just turn on node here. Say OK. And this this um, uh, object snap settings I, or object snap icon here, this one has to be blue. So make sure that's turned on. So now it's going to recognize the um, node or the point itself. And when I start at this point, I select that point. Notice that it inherited the elevation of that point. At this point, I have to hit the Enter key. And uh, now I'm just going to really go from point to point. And what it's doing here, notice it says 1.02. What it did was it, it, it knows the distance between those points, and it also knows the change in elevation. So it's computing the slope, and it says, well, from one point to the other, it's 1.02%. Here again, I have to hit Enter to proceed. So I'm just going to move through all these points. Now that, now that was, uh, it's showing it as 0%. Um, but notice, as I go, as I click each point, that's 1.67%. I have to hit enter, that's 0 0.79. I'm just going to keep going here. And this takes a little bit of coordination. Um, so just to uh, keep this short, I'm going to end that right there. I might in reality go all the way up to this point later. Uh, but for now, just for demonstration, I'm going to end it right here. So I'll hit enter, I think, a couple of times. Oh, just once. So now I've got this uh, back of curb line drawn through those points. And that's what I'd like you to do now is, is, um, is we've got these back of curb shots isolated. Just draw in your back of curb lines right now. We'll look at smoothing them. Actually, let's just quickly look at that right now. Uh, if I, I realize that, you know, from each one of these points here, especially through this curb return, um, the curb is not really straight line segments here. So what I can do when you're done with this is you can left click on your feature line and notice that all of our tools changed here. There's one up here called stepped off, not stepped offset, I'm sorry, uh, smooth. Here it is, smooth. So if I click on smooth, uh, you notice that it created a nice smooth curve that still passes through all those points. So just use uh, those little techniques here and draw on your curb lines and I'll I'll get back to you with another task soon. Okay, thanks.